I went over to Sierra Leone for a year after I graduated. And I spent that year working in rural development in communities, living with people who were struggling to feed themselves or to find health care or education for their children. And I just learned so much. And so from that, I decided that I would like to keep studying the challenges that I had seen there. So I came back to the university and I had also wanted to set up a volunteer program so more people could have that experience. And I worked in Brother Ray Fitz's office, who was the president at the time, developing a one-month immersion program and then a one-year program going over to Sierra Leone. And all the while I was getting my master's. So that really launched me into the international development field. Now I'm the senior vice president for international programs at an organization called Plan International USA. And this is a child rights organization that works in communities with children and their families. So you can see a common thread there getting back to the roots of community development. I think the most enjoyable part of it is just knowing that your life is a life of purpose because it's working with others and helping them through challenges and in doing that really learning so much yourself about your own challenges and how they're similar or how there's a common thread of humanity that really connects us all. And you have an opportunity to see wonderful countries and meet people who are facing some of the hardest situations and yet I always come away inspired by the way they face those challenges and hopefully overcome them. So it's the kind of job where more often than not you're lifted up by the work you're doing. That's probably one of the most exciting developments I think that the university's undertaken. I really saw the spark of that 20 odd years ago when I was here doing my master's and Dr. Mark Ancelaco came onto campus and had a vision for what the university could bring to the human rights arena. And he kept that vision all along and I've watched this kind of idea blossom into now a center. And I think it's wonderful to see how many students are also sharing that vision, how many other faculty are engaged in this. And the fact that it is interdisciplinary, that it's not just coming from one angle or another, that it's bringing everything from the business community to the law school to engineering. Those are the sort of solutions, integrated solutions, that you really need to address today's human rights challenges.